eight seconds. That's the amount of time they say it takes the average viewer to decide whether or not they're going to click off of a video. Well, guess what? You made it. You're above average, so give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and in today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about how I managed to do two jobs at the exact same time, and I'm going to let you know if I think it was worth it or not, so stick around and don't go anywhere. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Tim, and this is the Timo Show, where I show you guys different ways I make money. I make money by making stuff and painting stuff and got some vending machines and selling some stuff. So anyways, welcome to the channel. Glad to have you guys here. Um, in today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about what it was like running two jobs at the same time for my small paint business. I'm going to have a new helper here. I wanted to give him a crash course, and uh, we did uh, like a day job and a night job. Tried to cram in two jobs. And um, this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about whether or not it was worth it. And uh, But before we get into that, I do want to say if you're interested in starting your own paint business, I actually have some links for you to check out. I'll leave them in the top of the description. It'll be the very top links and uh, in the pinned comment as well. So one thing about running two jobs at once is I typically don't like to do that. And no, I didn't overbook. I know some of you are probably thinking, oh, I went ahead and double booked. But that wasn't the case. I mean, it was the case, but it wasn't by accident. I actually was out of state. And I had a friend call, um, an existing client that I had had previously call, and they were kind of in a tight pinch and they needed something painted right away. They had a tenant move out and they had a new tenant moving in. So they had a time crunch and, you know, I'm happy to abide, especially for existing clients that have treated me well in the past. I don't mind going out of my way, you know, a little above and beyond just to show them I appreciate the business, you know, especially good paying customers and uh, faithful customers. And that's kind of the idea is you want to build up a good a good base of clients, uh, friends, essentially, really what it comes down to. Um, something interesting about this project that we're working on here, um, it's for a friend of mine who recently passed away. And honestly, uh, there was some really interesting stuff happening with some of the camera angles that we had. So if I get this video up to like 100 likes, I'll go ahead and make I'll make that video uh, where I kind of analyze the footage and show you guys what we saw, there was a little bit of, of it in the beginning of this video here. Now uh, you kind of see the camera shift and shake a little bit, but when it's all sped up, it's a little nauseating uh, for me at least. And I don't want to put you guys through that. So if I, if I get this video to 100 likes, man, I'll make that video where I go through and we review the footage. That's kind of uh, some unexplained footage. And I don't know, I'd like to get uh, your guys' opinion on what you think it might be. Uh, but I thought it was my buddy coming to say hi. And uh, give me a hard time while I painted his house, you know, because uh, when he was still around on the planet, he used to uh, give me a hard time whenever I was overworking. So both of these jobs are returning clients. And um, I'm glad I love working for returning clients because you know what you get. Um, they feel comfortable to have you there. You're comfortable being there. Um, and this house had some pets there and the pets uh, took a little bit for them to warm back up to me. But once they realize you're just kind of there hanging out they're all good and keep some beef jerky in your pocket too so this was the night job uh, this job's a little smaller project and this is the one i was talking about it was like a squeeze play uh, it was kind of a last minute thing and we decided to throw it in uh, make sure that you know you bid accordingly uh, for me this was returning clients so i kept my prices as fair as possible uh, but you know if somebody's ever asking you to rush to rush a job we call that ASAP pricing. That's a premium pricing. You got to make sure that it's going to be worth it to you, especially if you're stacking jobs on top of each other, because what could happen is maybe you have people lined up to help, but after working a good nine, 10 hour day during the day, and then it's like, okay, let's pack up. Let's drive to this other job, unpack and put in another four to five hours. Um, sometimes it sounds like a really good idea the day before in the morning of, but once uh, you get done with that first shift, it's uh, pretty brutal. But being self-employed and working for yourself you know it's something you got to do you got to commit and you got to do what you say and say what you do and that's a real big part of building up a business so uh, this is just real quick recap is a little bit different um i think it was worth it for me um i did have to put in some extra hours and work uh, pretty late one night i think i had to work uh, close to midnight in order to finish and then i did have to come back a separate day to go ahead and just do all the final touches the fine tuning because when you get in and paint i like to remove as much as I can. I didn't remove this fan, obviously, but face plates, switch plates, stuff in the closet, the stuff that are going to hinder progress. I like to remove them. So um, the tenant actually went ahead and moved in. And then uh, once he was kind of settled in, he had me come back and we in, we installed the, the mini blinds and the curtains and, you know, the TV bracket and et cetera, little things like that, you know, the final touches. So here's some footage of us rolling out the walls. Remember, 
Uh, if you're doing it by hand, do your ceiling first. Cut in your walls. Always two coats, you guys. I mean, I, I don't think I've ever really been able to get away with one coat. Um, hardly ever, honestly. I, I can't even think of a particular time that stands out in my mind. But get out there, work hard, you guys. And if you're interested in starting your own paint business, check out the links in the description below and the pinned comment. And um, everybody always asks for um, me pulling paper off at the end of the job. So here you go. Um, I really appreciate you guys sticking around. If you made it this far in the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I can see why you guys like this because it's pretty satisfying. It's like instant, instant gratification. All right. Hey, I'll see you guys in the next video. Or you can click any one of these links right here and you can just keep on watching. Peace.